What's good, Madrid fans? What's good, y'all? Real Madrid wins it 1-0 over Liverpool. Um, It wasn't, you know, the high-scoring affair that I expected. It wasn't the complete domination of... Well, it was the domination of Liverpool, but uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. It wasn't the... High scoring, rather, because I expected this to be... Even though I said a, a 2-0 to zero score line, I kind of knew with the way that Real Madrid's, uh, you know, strikers are, the way that Liverpool strikers, you know, presented themselves to be, I kind of was hoping for a high scoring uh, Champions League. I'm not going to lie. Um, I didn't expect a 1-0 to zero result, much less coming from Real Madrid. Um, Real Madrid wins the double, man. They they win the they they win it they win two trophies this year. Uh, they proved me wrong. I said that they wouldn't win a trophy under Carlo Ancelotti because there were just a lot of a lot of unknowns. They didn't have you know Vinicius Junior last year. At this time last year, Vinicius Junior was trash. Um. The Real Madrid whole attack was trash. Everything was trash aside from the the solid defense and Karim Benzema last year. But this year, after all my criticisms, they got it done. I'm I'm in shock right now. I'm I'm hyped and I'm shocked at the same time. I did not expect Real Madrid to, to pull through. Uh, they. Win La Liga. Okay. You know, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid were regressing. Okay, so Real Madrid was on the trending up and up. I was like, eh. But with these bigger teams like Manchester, like like uh, the, the PSGs of the world at the time. Because I, thought, I thought very highly of PSG. You know, the, the Chelsea's, the Manchester City's, the Liverpool's. I was like, Real Madrid has no chance whatsoever. And they proved me wrong. Every single time. They got it done. Unbelievable. Um so let's 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 break down uh the you know some of the some highlights and some takeaways of this game. Again, really not much to take away from a one to zero win, but you know, some some key point you know key points. Uh, number one, Liverpool, if it wasn't for Thibaut Courtois, Thibaut Courtois is the man of the match. Big save after big save after big save after big save. Kept Real Madrid when they shouldn't have been in the game. Liverpool was just dominant, you know, almost, you know, had chances at goals. Real Madrid only had, get this, three shots on target. Three. While Liverpool had a little, just, I think, just about maybe 10. And Courtois denied each and every one of them. Number two. Vinicius Jr., man. I think that goal that he scored, because he scored the winning goal, in the, I want to say, 59th, yeah, 59th minute, he sent a message to the Madrid fans saying, because huh, Real Madrid, the Kylian Mbappe saga just messed with their minds. You know, the, you know, um, last, you know, it was just not an ideal week if you were a Madrid fan that was hoping that Kylian Mbappe would come in and, and be a Real Madrid savior and give the Real Madrid, you know, the goals that they needed. Because Karim Benzema, you know, towards the end of his career, even though technically, I honestly still think that. Karim Benzema, the way that he's playing, you know, could be in his prime. The way that these soccer players play, they really take care of themselves up to 37, 38, like Luka Modric, you know, we can still consider Karim Benzema in his prime if you want. Um, But Vinicius Jr. just, you know, sent a message with that goal, telling Madrid fans, yo, y'all, I know that I'm not the best, I know that I'm not killing Mbappe, But I am 
your best option. I am your future. Don't worry about killing Mbappe. I'm here. That's what I think that that meant. You know, he's, he's, that's the message he sent. In my opinion, he sent a message with that goal saying, don't fret y'all. I'm right here. Don't worry about Killian. I'm here. I'm y'all savior for for the for the few foreseeable future. Um number three. Uh Karim Benzema, I just feel like eh, VAR just really um you know it, he was offsides, I get it. But you know, uh, there was a lot of argument. There was some controversy. If Real Madrid did not win this game, there would have been controversy on that offsides. Was it offsides? Was it onsides? Because apparently Liverpool kept it offsides, but Real Madrid plays were, you know, still valid. It's still good to go. But I guess, you know, VAR sided with Liverpool. So um, Karim didn't get his goal, didn't surpass Raul this season. Wait until next year at this point. You know, wait until next year, Karim. You can surpass Raul then, hopefully. Um, number four. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti is the most winningest coach in Champions League history. Winning it um, with... Winning it five times. With, uh, well, four with four different teams. Obviously, he won it twice with Real Madrid. Um, and the other ones I think were like Italian clubs if I'm wasn't if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check that. So Carlo Ancelotti and Carlo Ancelotti was on the hot seat for a quick second. Um, you know, he had you know, this season I criticized him for his decision making, for him basically not making the adequate uh substitutions at the right time. But he got, you know, he he weathered the storm. And was able to deliver two trophies to Madrid this year. So kudos to him um, for for that for for him to for, you know for doing that when basically um, Florentino Perez had a contingency plan. He had a contingency plan. If he would have sacked Ancelotti, it probably would have been Raúl's job. Most likely Murray to Pochettino if, you know, Ancelotti, um, you know, finish the year on a really bad note because right now PSG is looking to get rid of uh, Pochettino from what I heard because Kylian Mbappe, the brat, wants him out. Um, but, you know, right now Ancelotti is here for another year. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. What Ancelotti and Real Madrid do next season with, you know, Barcelona coming back in the rise. I guarantee you that these European clubs are going to be hungrier than ever. Because if you really look at it realistically, y'all, Real Madrid were the underdog in every single game in the Champions League. They were the underdog. Uh, Everyone was against them. When it was against PSG, they're like, oh, P-, you know, even I said, you know, PSG got this in the bag. Um, against Chelsea, after that dominant win uh, in Stamford Bridge, but then somehow, some way, Chelsea go up 3 nothing and Real Madrid come back. Everyone's like, how the heck did that happen? Against Manchester City, especially when Manchester City had it in control late in, late in the game, and somehow Real Madrid just... Pulled something out of the hat and got it done, and everyone was like, "Whoa!" But now, after they knock out Liverpool, when Liverpool was a huge, huge favorite, everyone's probably going to be wondering how. I'm wondering how myself, because the road to this championship was the hardest. So yeah, but. Alrighty, y'all. That were my takeaways from the Champions League game today. I'm happy Real Madrid won it 1-0. Looking forward to next year. Let's see what happens in the summer. What Real Madrid does to, you know, um, fix some, you know, some some problems that they still have 
Um, from what I heard, obviously this can't be made official until you know the season begin or since uh, when transfer windows begin. Uh, Antonio Rudiger right now is the only uh, signing, and he's coming on a free, so Real Madrid doesn't have to waste a lot of money on that. But you know, I'll probably make videos because there's a lot of rumors coming out. You know, who can replace Kylian Mbappe? Who can replace? You know, who can be Real Madrid's? Who can be Karim? You know, we already got. Karim Benzema's left wing, which is Vinicius, but who can be, you know, Karim Benzema's partner on the right side? So, I'll probably do a video, most likely Monday, y'all, because Monday I still, you know, have some time to, you know, sit back and relax before I start work on Tuesday in Iowa. You know, no Golden Truth this week. Uh, if you guys want to consider Golden Truth, you know, I, I did a Washington Commander's Golden Truth um, I think it was like Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, Tuesday. Was there Tuesday? I can't remember what day it was. But um, yeah. Uh, so look for a video for you know from me regarding Real Madrid. You know, uh, Monday morning, hopefully. But alrighty, y'all. That was it for this video. If you're new to my channel, hit that sub button. Hit that like button too. Hit that like button. Trying to get those likes off so that way the YouTube algorithm can, you know, suggest my content to other people. But make sure you guys hit that sub button if you're new. Smash that like button. Share this video with your friends and family. Comment to let you know all your thoughts. Until then, guys, if you're a Madrid fan, celebrate this win. Enjoy this win. It was a great season. I'll see you guys next time. Keep it real. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.